Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. Can you read this six digit number given on the screen? This six digit number is a pin code of Central Delhi and all pin codes used in India are six digit numbers. Let's look at some more six digit numbers. Can you read these numbers? Do you find it difficult to read these numbers? Today, let us see how to read these six digit numbers by putting it in a place value chart. I know that you have learned the place value chart up to thousands place. So today we are going to learn the place value chart for a six digit number. So by the end of this module, you will be able to read and write six and seven digit numbers in the Indian place value chart and you will understand how to group numbers according to period and how to place commas to separate them. To read and write large numbers, we use a place value chart called the Indian place value chart. Here the seven places are grouped into three periods. The first three places from the right form the ones period. And again, as you can see, the ones period is divided into three sub columns ones, tens, and hundreds. The next two places form the thousands period. Similarly, the thousands period is again divided into two sub columns that is, thousands and ten thousands. And the last two places form in the lakh period and look at the lakh period it is also divided into two sub columns that is lakh and 10 lakhs let's see how to arrange a six digit number in the place value chart consider this number 1 6 3 4 3 6 while reading a number all the digits in the same period are read together and the name of the period except the ones is read along with them. So the number shown in the place value chart is read as 1,63,436. Let's look at one more example. Here the digits given in the place value chart is 7, 5, 0, 4, 0, 3 and we can read it as 7,50,403. Now can you write this number 4,34,562 in figures? Let's see how do we proceed. First of all, make three periods, ones, thousands and lakhs as shown in this screen. Write all the lakhs in the lakhs period and write all the parts. For example, here it is 4 lakh. So we write it as 0, 4. Now write all thousands in the thousands period. Again, write all the parts. Write hundreds, tens, hundreds, tens and ones in the third period from the left. Now, if a number begins with 0, drop it. While writing numbers in figures, we put a comma after every period to separate the period. It helps us to read the numbers correctly. So, we can read this number as 4,34,563. Let's see the use of commas in the Indian system of numeration. So we use a comma to separate the thousands period from the ones period and again we use a comma to separate the lakhs period from the thousands period. Consider this example 2, 3, 5, 7, 8. It's a five digit number and here we use a comma to separate the ones period and thousands periods and we can read this number as 23,578. Look at this example. Here it is a six digit number and here 
we use a comma to separate the one spirit and thousand spirit and a comma to separate thousand spirit and lakh spirit so we can read this number as 3,86,543. Let's recap what we have learned today. In the Indian system of numeration, always start grouping from the right. The first three digits from the right form the one spirit. The fourth and fifth digit from the right form the thousand spirit. And the sixth digit belongs to the lakh spirit. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Think about some 5 and 6 digit numbers and arrange them in the Indian place value chart and write these numbers in words and figures. Thank you.